My name is Peter Voorhees and I'm a myeloma specialist at the Levine Cancer Institute in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'm excited to talk with you today about a study that we're going to be launching in the very near future called the Griffin Trial, or as it's also known as MMY2004 or AFT29. Uh, so this is a study for newly diagnosed symptomatic multiple myeloma patients who are transplant eligible and we're basically going to be looking at the role of adding daratumumab or Darzalex into a Revlimid Velcade dexamethasone based treatment strategy for these uh, particular patients. And this is something that's going to be run through uh, what is known as the Alliance uh, Foundation, uh, which is part of the Alliance Cooperative Group in conjunction with uh, Janssen. This is a study that will be open at approximately 40 centers throughout the United States. Currently, the University of North Carolina has has been activated and is able to enroll patients and we're in the process in the very near future of having additional sites come on board and they will also be allowed to enroll patients but at the end of the day hopefully you know sometime towards the end of the first quarter of 2017 we'll have all 40 sites or close to all 40 sites activated. The rationale for pursuing daratumumab as part of frontline therapy uh, for multiple myeloma is based on the data that have been generated in the relapse setting so these are unprecedented results. And based on this information, the FDA has also approved Revlimid, Dexamethasone, and Darzalex for relapsed myeloma patients who've received at least one prior therapy for their disease. Now, what we would like to do is bring daratumumab, Darzalex, to the frontline setting. It has performed so well in the relapse space, we think that we can make frontline therapy better you know, with the addition of, of Darzalex into, into standard therapy. So the way that the study will work is that patients will receive four cycles of induction chemotherapy consisting of Revlimid, Velcade, and Dexamethasone with or without Darzalex therapy. Um, after they've gone through that process, they'll have their stem cells collected with a combination of Neupogen with or without Mozabil, and then they will receive high-dose melphalan chemotherapy and autologous stem cell transplantation. Once they've recovered from their transplant, they will then either get two cycles of consolidation treatment with Revlimid, Velcade, and Dexamethasone, or Revlimid, Velcade, Dexamethasone with the Darzalex. After that point, you know, the patients will get either Revlimid maintenance therapy or Revlimid and, and Darzalex. So we're basically adding Darzalex into the induction therapy, the consolidation, and the maintenance therapy. And by doing so, we're trying to establish, you know, whether we can make Revlimid, Velcade, Dexamethasone-based therapy perform better. So again, you know, of 40 sites throughout the United States. We've got one already open, University of North Carolina. We've got many more that are poised to activate over the course of the next several months. We're very excited about this trial and we think that it will become a new standard of care, hopefully, for patients with newly diagnosed myeloma.